I think um, I think we feel all disappointed tonight. I think we did well. Uh, the plan, the, match, the game uh, was good. We start really well. We play well. I think uh, yes. I think the result is the most. Uh, that what disappointed us because in this type of game, in this level, you need sometimes this percentage of luck for the game to be in your side. And uh, for wasn't for us, and wasn't for us uh, when we can go in Paris. Um, but the team give everything, and of course, um, I feel proud of that. Uh, and of course, disappointed with the first legs in what the send off. Um, to play 15 minutes with with 10 men, and now the second leg to play 20 minutes with 10 men is is a massive advantage for for the opponent. But I think are are not decisive the situation. Uh, we didn't concede uh, goals uh, with 10 uh, again. A, a very good team like Manchester City. Um, yes, we feel disappointed for our fans, for uh, for us, for the club. And I think we give everything, but we cannot uh, get what we wanted to get. Le Réalisme. Frédéric Goyard, le Parisien. Frédéric Goyard. Vous m'entendez? Yes. Oui. Oui, bonsoir, Mauricio. Comment expliquer les erreurs qui ont eu lieu à l'aller et ce soir encore, euh, sur le premier but notamment, avec une grosse faute de défense, comment expliquer ces erreurs à ce niveau de compétition Oui, c'est un mistake. C'est un mistake. C'est un mistake. C'est un mistake. Oui, je pense que nous parlions du match que nous jouons à Paris. Et aujourd'hui, oui, c'était un peu un peu un shame. Un accident qui s'est passé that we knew sometimes this type of situation are very quick and of course uh, we feel disappointed because um, we give the the game to Manchester City in a situation that we, we need to avoid before, you know, to anticipate this situation. But that is football. Uh, um, football is about the mistake and we made this type of mistake is difficult in this level after two uh, to recover from from that but the team always was uh, fighting never give up and i think um, like I, i told before i feel proud of the play because they give everything um, and in the way that uh, with performance i think um, again a, a, a team like manchester city that is a, a really good good team i think um, yes um, we didn't have the, that percentage of lucky that you need, you know, in this level when you are even the, the teams and when the game is even uh, to be in your side. And that is, I think that that is the all that we can we can say because I think the team dominate uh, the first card there. We dominate here, Manchester City. That is difficult. That is difficult to see a team that can dominate a, a team like Manchester City. And I think we play well, but we didn't have the luck that you need in football. Euh, euh, en foot, dans le football. Um, can I, can I Bonsoir, you... Maurizio. Your players, obviously the, the red card to Di Maria, and perhaps maybe a few of the players maybe just lost their heads a little bit towards the end after Manchester City had, had won. What was your what was your thinking? What was your thoughts on that? Yes, I think we were on the game. I think uh, it was one nil down, but. Um, it's a little bit lucky that we concede the goal, but you know, always in football, you can you need to believe because if you score one, you can score twice after. And of course, with the red card of Di Maria, that changed the feeling. And 20 minutes to play, I think, was difficult for the team. We were a little bit open, but the team always fight. That is the most important. We were alive. We were alive. That is why I am uh, proud of of my player. Uh, of course, disappointed. I'm very sad because. I cannot lie that you say we are going to be positive, but you know I feel we feel pr proud. In the same time, we feel disappointed and sad because I think the objective was to be in the final and we cannot be there. That is a, that is a, what happened. Now, Jim Conlon. Okay. 
Jim Cullen. Jim Cullen. Jim Cullen. No. no. Last question, Brad Cox. Brad Cox. Last question, please. Brad Cox. Um, I'm just wondering what uh, building on what Ander Herrera said after the game about comments uh, from the referee. I'm wondering if you heard something similar to what he is referring to, and, and what what do you make of those comments that Ander Herrera has said about the referee in this game? I think we need to Berratia Margos. Uh, they were explained to the TV in some interview before. Uh, we need to to believe in what they are uh, uh, telling us. You know. Uh, but now the most important is that we are not in the final. That is, uh, is what, uh, what happened on the end. But of course, if I didn't hear nothing from the touchline, if something uh, is there and is that uh, is how they explain, uh, maybe the UEFA will investigate the, the situation. But now um, I think that is not an excuse um, that I can put in from. And, um, and of course, the, the most important that we are not in the final, and that is why we feel really sad. That is uh, now an anecdote that maybe can take a reference the, the UEFA.